Yeah, this is not my favorite. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And you probably noticed the, the bag, the plastic bag I got wrapped over my hair. Yeah, that's kind of a long story. So, um, there's this kid in my school. And he is, well, he's, he's stinky. He smells bad. Like, I don't know exactly what his home life is like, but... I don't think it's very good, and, and I don't know if he ever takes a bath, and, and I don't know if his clothes ever get washed. And most of us at my school, when we see him coming, we just, like, leave. Sometimes people even, like, run away from him, and, and some people call him really mean names. And I, I've even done this before, where I'd, I would, like, leave. I, I haven't called him bad names, but I, I usually leave, because it's, it's bad. He smells really bad, and it's hard to be around him. And so it's really just easier to, to, to move, like to find a different spot where he isn't. Well, one day I felt, I felt really bad because I saw him. I saw him sitting in the playground by himself and he was, he was crying. And I knew why he was crying. Because, man, I don't, I don't care who you are. If you see people, you know, get up and leave every time you, every time you sit down, like you're going to notice and it's going to hurt. And so I went and I sat down next to him and, and we we talked for a while and yeah, it he smelled bad. He did. We talked for a while and, and and I gave him a hug and I think it helped a little bit. But because I gave him a hug, I I got I got bugs in my hair. Lots of them. And we tried we tried getting him out with like a special shampoo, but that didn't really work. So one of my mom's friends, she had this trick where you put this stinky stuff in your hair. It's like a natural remedy kind of thing. You put it in your hair and you got to wrap the bag around your head and leave it for a little while. And we're going to see if that works. And I hate it. I hate it. I don't want I don't want bugs in my hair. I don't like it. I hate feeling the little the little creepy crawlies and I hate I hate the stinky stuff in my hair. I hate it. But you know what? I'm glad I talked to him. I'm glad I sat next to him. I'm glad I I'm glad I gave him a hug and I'll do it again cuz it's important. And I think that we as Christians, we have a problem. I think we have a problem that is very, like, uniquely Christian. I think we, I think we run and hide from sinners, right? Even though we are sinners. We're all sinners. But, like, if we see people in the world who are just, like, stinky with sin, so to speak, like, we, we, we leave. We get out of there. We don't want them to touch us. And, and don't get me wrong. Like, the Bible talks about, like, how bad sin is and how we ought to we ought to be very wary of sin and very careful about sin you know the the bible says that one of the main things that that true religion is is keeping oneself from being polluted by the world but in an in an effort to like protect ourselves from the you know like the stinkiness of sin i think we we hide from the world but god said we're supposed to go into the world like, man, it is so much easier to just just stay at church, right? You go from home to church, and that's all you do in, in all your life is you're just, you're just where it's safe. It's just where it's not stinky. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't go to church. I'm not saying that church shouldn't be a safe place. But I am saying that God has sent us out into the world. And I am saying that the people out there that are hard to be around sometimes, they need Jesus. And they might not ever hear about him if we're hiding if you go out into the world if you make friends with people who are not christian you might get hurt you might be betrayed you might be lied to you might be you know stolen from you might hear words that you you don't want to hear see things you don't want to see and that's hard it is hard i'm not saying it's not hard but they need us the world needs jesus and we need to we need to take him to them. You know, I I hate so much what happened to my head. I hate, I cannot describe to you how much I, I do not like this, but it's worth it. And my mom's, my mom's finding a way to fix it. And, and my, I know my teacher is talking to this kid's grandma to try to help him with, you know, kind of the hygiene issues. But even if she doesn't, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna try to be this kid's friend. I'm still gonna talk to him. I'm still not gonna run from him because he needs a friend and the world needs jesus so my my challenge to you guys today is that that even though even though the world is is full of stinky sin 
I want you to go into the world. I want you to be in the world sharing the light of Jesus Christ. If everyone you know is a Christian, that's cool. Like that's that's comfortable. That's that's great in a way, but we'll have plenty of time for that in heaven. And we should be going out into the world bringing more people with us. It will be hard. It will be complicated, but it's important and it's worth it. Go into the world and share the good news of Jesus Christ with those who desperately need to hear it. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And man, I cannot wait to get this stuff out of my hair, get this bag off of my head and be done with this. But you know, even, even if it comes back later, we'll figure it out. And man, I cannot, I cannot express to you how important it is that we go love the unlovable. It's what Jesus did and it's what he wants us to do. The world needs Jesus and we have Jesus. So no matter what the consequence is, let's share God's love with those who need it, even if it's hard.